Hey guys, in here, and welcome back to another Dinosaur Simulator video. Today I'm going to be showing you if the Black Isle is actually worth, because I did a lot of the other videos on the AV and the Violex, which are both very high tier uh, DNA type of stuff. So I'm going to well, be showing you is the Black Isle worth, because the Black Isle is also 100,000. And then I'll be probably be doing it on the hybrids or just another type of viable high tier thing. But until then, I'm just going to be doing it on the Blanco. So the Blanco has been around for a long time. It used to be one of the rarest things in the game. It used to be worth like three types of hybrids, like an Albino Terror or Mega. Because the AV isn't tradable and it wasn't even around back then. And the Blanket Owl actually came out sometime during 2018, I'm pretty sure. And for like 100,000, and then it lost all its rarity. And then now it's what we have today a um, silver tier. I'm pretty sure it might be a middle silver tier, but if it's a low silver tier, let me know in the comments down below, or even a high silver tier. But the Black Isle is, mm, I don't really ever play this. It's one of my first rare creatures I've ever had, though. It's whenever I got to, um, someone gave it to me, and like as a gift, as like a friendship type of thing, and I really, like, I really thank them. And the Black Isle has just been kind of like a memory type of holder. I haven't really been able to kind of get around to it lately because it hasn't been like that kind of, like, appreciated and I don't really think it's that really fun to play as but if it's one of the best things you have then you're gonna think like you're the best thing but the blanket isle is um one of the one of the few of the best animated creatures in the game and there's some guys coming after me but I'm just gonna go in the water and yeah the blanket isle is <laughs> I wonder what they're doing but anyways <laughs> The Black Isle is one of the also other few things that can blink because a lot of the creatures in this game can't actually blink because sometimes it'll um, come in with like eye type of bugs and stuff like the Trudon with one of his eyes are missing because of the blinking feature and the Black Isle is one of the people, well not one of the people, one of the dinosaurs that actually can blink it doesn't have a type of eye glitch i'm pretty sure actually one of the eyes are off like but i'm not sure i'd have to check it but like if you've ever noticed anything wrong with a black Adel, because i know the um the animations for the drinking and everything they kind of they kind of repeat after you're done so that's kind of a little bit of a glitch, but I think it just comes into the hand that the Black Isle just has a lot of really good animations. I'm not really sure who the Black Isle was made by, but I do know it was one of the best back then. And it is still really good to see around today. It's still like type of a holder of a memory, but right now we got like the Diamond Shoe now, which I don't really think much of the actual recolor diamonds. I think it's kind of a little bit of a stupid idea to have like recolors as one of the highest things in the game but now i'm not the one in charge here so i'm just going to be um kind of you know saying what i think but the blanket isle is mm, kind of kind of iffy on the combat reasons because it is not that um not that type of fast it has a lot of health though 1700 it's for the dinos and Dinosuchus, uh, Dianosuchus, I'm not really sure how to say it, but the Dianosuchus is going to be getting a remodel here soon, which is going to be really cool, but apparently, um, it's going to take a little while, so we're going to have to just wait for that, but instead of that, we have the Black Isle to say here, which is going to be a little bit of a good thing for the Black Isle, because so far, I'm not really thinking too much of it, but the Black Isle is, is like, type of a like an iffy creature it has 275 damage 20 defense and that could be like a tanking type of option because it has a lot of health it can tank an av almost and it just it's just kind of an all-around thing it can swim because it's a crocodilian it runs 16 speed it walks 13 speed and it's just an all-around type of guy or girl and honestly what i just think of the um black Adile, i honestly think it would um it would depend on the player that you would think it, well everything depends on the player on what you think but the black Adile is also just a normal carnivore and it nowhere um 
and like no stages or like ever has it come to be a omnivore which kind of sucks for it it has normal thirst like everything normal energy like everything and it can also be tradable which is a good thing as you as you heard it is a silver tier and if you want to buy it to get like kind of rare on trading i wouldn't necessarily buy it just to get better on trading because it's not that one thing that would be the best for trading because it just doesn't really kind of suit like if you're gonna waste all your money just on like one creature to be better like better at trading because i know 100,000 takes a little while for people and especially 113,000. I'm not really sure how much it is, guys. So if you do know the price, leave it in the comments down below. But the price of the Black O is actually fairly high for new players or just medium players in general. But if you are wanting to look forward for a Black Adal, if you're a new player and you wanna just buy it to get a little bit better at trading, then if you're doing it for trading reasons, I think it wouldn't be worth it. But if you're doing it for gameplay, I'd say it'd be worth giving a shot. Because the Black Adal is not as bad as combat as many people think. I haven't really tested the range. Now it'll be coming in when the PvP challenges start coming in. So if you would like to see that guy, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and just join the Discord down below. Because we'll probably be uh, asking some of you guys to come in and help us with the PvP challenges. But as I said, the Black Adal, honestly, as of right now, I don't think it would be worth it because we don't know the actual combat of it. So that's all for this video, guys. Like, that's just probably what I'm gonna think of the Black It Out for now. But in the later future, I'm probably just going to be um, I'm probably gonna test it and see if it actually is kind of worth. And this is L actually. Oh well, he. I think he's hacking, but he might. He might be. I'm not sure. But that's it for this video, guys. <laughs> Let's just... Okay, I'm just gonna go in the water because it seems like he's got a funky hitbox. But that's it for the now, guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below what you'd like to see next time. I'll see you guys later, guys. As always, bye.